So as the Eagles report to camp, it looks like there's still two positions they're looking to add to. Safety and wide receiver. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, King Ding back here and what a day. What a day it has been for the Philadelphia Eagles as they report back to camp and things aren't done yet. Howie and the Eagles are actively still trying to add the safety position and the wide receiver position. And Eagle fans, you should all be excited out there because this team looks like they are locked in, ready to go, ready to make a run back to the NFC. And we got a ton of stuff to talk about. Oh, we definitely do. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored. The most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And uh, just a reminder, I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm thinking it's probably going to be around 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's what we're shooting for. But we'll definitely be streaming tomorrow, uh, Thursday, Friday, and all of next week as well, except for August 2nd. So if you guys haven't, you definitely do not want to miss out because it's going to get crazy. It's getting really busy, and that's the way the NFL is. It gets real quiet in like June and July, and then all of a sudden at the end of July when they report to camp, it's like, boom, it's on. Everything starts happening. We saw Trevon Diggs. He got signed today, and then not too long ago, um, Justin Herbert signs an extension. Adam Schefter reported this. The next quarterback domino falls. Chargers and Justin Herbert reach an agreement today on a landmark five-year, $262.5 million extension that ties him into the franchise through the 2029 season. Sources tell Lindsay 30, deal gets done before Chargers' first training camp practice on Wednesday. And this is why you have to love how having Howie Roseman. This is why you have to love having him because every time one of these quarterbacks sign a contract, they reset the market. And the Eagles, they got it done, what, I believe before Lamar Jackson got his done, right? Didn't they? I can't remember. I think they did. But they've got it done before a couple quarterbacks have signed, including Herbert. And it just makes the Jalen Hurts deal look even better and better. And that's such a huge thing, man. It, it, it is really, it, it's a huge thing. Uh, the Eagles are smart. They're smart. Really, truthfully, the Eagles are smart. Their fans are smart. They're not like, they're not like dingbats. They're not idiots. Not like the Giant fans. Get this. MFL, MLF football wrote this. Interesting. The New York Pound Giant fans are the least intelligent crowd. <laughs> Crowd in the pound NFL, according to a survey conducted by Gambling.com. Fans of Buffalo Pound Bills were voted the brightest fans in the league. But the Giants, they're saying, are the biggest morons. The Giant fans are the dumbest fans out there. It just makes me think of Pizzle. Dang, 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 dang. It made me die. Dang, dang. Where's my mini sandwich? Dang, dang. They might, they might have something here. They might have something here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this survey was conducted, to be honest with you. Uh, Buffalo Bills fans, the brightest. I mean, don't they jump off tables? Uh, like, jump off uh, cars onto tables and stuff? It don't sound too bright to me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I know you guys... I know you guys have been watching all the videos, all the highlights of the Eagles returning to training camp. We've seen the pictures. We've seen the videos come out. Uh, some very, very interesting things, okay? And I, I want to talk about a few of them right now. Um, first, we, we see all the pictures, right? You saw all the pictures of Hertz and Devontae Smith, and, and, and they're, they're filming their videos with the guys with their jerseys on. Um, you know, uh, Sidney Brown... Uh, you know, I love this one picture because he, the guy looks like he looks like a safety. He's got some. He's got some guns. He almost looks like Philly Five Hundred guns, you know. Um, but uh, he, he looks like he looks like he's a safety. He looks like he's a safety. This is a kid I'm very very excited about uh, watching uh, this season. I think this kid can actually win a starting job. In all in all seriousness, the other thing I want to point out is I don't know if you saw the video part, uh, and you should check it on the Eagles site. But we're they show Jordan Davis. 
Jordan Davis, and here's a skill shot because I'm not afraid to run the video, but um, for copyright reasons. But look at Jordan Davis. The guy is about 25 pounds lighter, if that, if not more, than he was a year ago. He looks thinned out. This is exactly what we need Jordan Davis to be to be looking like. He looks great. He looks great. I think Jordan Davis is going to have a monster year. On top of having Jalen Carter, um, Jordan Davis looks like he's in shape. And, and to me, half the battle with Jordan Davis is he's got to be well conditioned. He's got to be ready to go. He looks noticeably, noticeably thinner. And that's that's a big thing. That's a big thing, you know. And and and, and I, I love this time of year because you get to see you get all the new photos and the guys are ready to go and things like that. One interesting thing I want to point out in these photos is this: if you look at the jerseys they're wearing in these videos, you'll notice that they're wearing the old word mark. They're not wearing the new word mark, which is this. They're wearing the old word mark. Now that means. That this thing has been out over a year, the new word mark, and it's still not been put on the jerseys. Why is that? I can tell you why that is. Because the Eagles are not going to be putting this word mark on those jerseys because the Eagles have a major refresh coming. That's the only thing that I can think of. Now, I don't think the refresh is probably, even though I would like to think, I, I don't think it's probably this year. It, it, you know, I don't think it's this year. I think it'll be announced next year. Now, how will they will they be able to put it out, come out with it that following year? Or they have to wait an extra year. I do think that we're going to see the Kelly Greens probably introduced tomorrow. I'm looking forward to those. Then I think this all season we're going to see the Eagles revamp their home, their away uh, jerseys, and we'll already have the alternate, which is the Kelly Green, in place. But Clearly, they're not using the new word mark on their jerseys, which tells you that they don't want to switch it yet. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And the most likely reason is they they are going to put this on, on brand new jerseys and they're saving it for that. And they're just rolling this stuff out slowly, uh, probably because they want to make sure, you know, it's hard when you change logos uh, for those of you that are, uh, you know, who've always had the same logo, same outfit, then you're used to it. Uh, I was just like you um, when when the Eagles switched from Kelly Green and what, what you see in my background to what we had now. I had a hard time with it. I had a gigantic, a gigantically hard time with it. And, and really, I'll tell you, uh, I don't want to peel this off, but you see this logo, right? The, the logo that they have now. The reason I didn't like it was because that logo is a giant E. You see the face of the bird. I see a giant E. So I hated that logo when it came out. So to me, it totally I totally understand how hard it's going to be. So I think they're rolling it out pretty slow. And I think that's what, what, what is going on. And uh, so I think you get Kelly Green. Last year you got black helmets. This year you get the Kelly Greens. Next year, you get the announcement of the revamp. It, otherwise, they would have put the new word mark on those jerseys, and they didn't. And they didn't do it for a reason. That's just, that's just the way it is. Now, tomorrow we have our first practice. We're ready to go. We are going to be busy, busy, busy on this channel. But there, there's something else I, I really want to talk about. And that is that if you look at what the Eagles are doing right now as they report for camp and they still have a few spaces open, it seems like that Howie Roseman and the Eagles have really narrowed in on two positions that they're looking to upgrade. The wide receiver position and then the also then also the safety position. The Eagles worked out a safety. Uh, Austin Howard Carson. They worked him out. He was formerly with Chicago. They tried to take him off of the practice squad in 2017 of Chicago. They worked him out as safety. And then you've heard about all the uh, all the wide receivers that the Eagles have been working out. Uh, they signed Deion Kane today, and I don't think that that's the end of it when it comes to uh, to the wide receiver position or looking. Uh, you know, the Eagles also. Um, they also worked out Keneal Harry. So you remember Keneal Harry was formerly with the Patriots. Uh, they worked him out uh, at wide receiver. So they're working out wide receivers. They signed Deion Kane. And I think, 
I think that it makes me really wonder how confident they are in in, in Quez Watkins. Could they be going in to this season saying, you know what, we could add depth at the wide receiving court? Because let's face it, the Eagles, if you lose, God forbid, I don't even want to say it, but you know, you have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, then who? Who? What happens if, if something happens? I, you know, I'm not even going to say it, knock on wood, but... What happens? You you need to add depth. So I think they're I think they're looking at upgrading the safety position and the wide receiver position. Now it could be just in terms of depth, but it could be a little more than that. We've got to keep an eye on it. But if you look at the two positions, they seem to be working out players for and bringing guys in for safety and wide receiver. And I think depending upon how Quez looks early in camp could depend upon whether the Eagles go out and make a, a, a move for maybe a more significant wide receiver. But clearly, clearly, that's where Howie Roseman's focus is right now. Clearly, that is what they're looking at. So we got to keep an eye. We got to keep an eye on that and see and see how it pans out. But safety and wide receiver looks like that's where they're at. Now, me personally, I would love to add Yannick Nagagwe. He's out there. You just sign him. Get it done. But that's not where their focus is right now. It looks like it's safety, wide receiver. Keep an eye on those positions. Keep an eye on Quez Watkins. We are going to be watching Quez Watkins closely. We are going to be all over it. Because to me, if he starts slow, I think the Eagles make a move for a wide receiver. So keep it in mind. Keep your eyes out. And we'll see what happens. Uh, with that, until tomorrow. Or good morning if you're watching this late uh, the next day. But, uh... We will be back. We will be live. We will be talking about first day of practice and training camp. Cannot wait. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a thing, but remember, it's Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. So shout out to E-Rock, man. You know, I, I, I love E-Rock. I think he's a great guy. Uh, I love the stuff that he does. Uh, just just very cool. But he, he said something. He tweeted something that, that got me, like, really even more impatient with this whole Kelly Green thing, okay? Because people are actually talking about it. You know, and, and, and I guess he heard some stuff and he knows some stuff. So this is what he said. Uh, here's what I can tell you. Because there's a whole bunch I can't. The Eagles have put a ton of work into not only getting these uniforms, but getting it right. And it takes time. It's everything you all have been asking for, and it's going to be glorious. I promise. Now, there's nothing that puts a smile on Denzel Washington's face as much as the Eagles getting it right with these Kelly Greens. That's all I need to hear. I'm ready to go. Shout out to E-Rock, Denzel Washington out.